Welcome back. Today I have three Lee Chess Rapid games that I want to analyze. It shouldn't be too difficult because I want all three of them. Spoiler alert. But I didn't play them perfectly, so there should be places where I can learn something. And the reason I have three today is because I haven't made a video for the last couple of days. I hope you'll forgive me for that too. For one thing, my son's soccer team won the citywide championship for his age group. That meant we had a game every night through the playoffs, so that, that was, you know, exhausting. And my last video was really long. It took forever to edit it. But today, let's just get right into these three games that I want to analyze. This is the one from the night before last. And then this one, I, it says I had a whole bunch of inaccuracies all throughout the game. I'm not going to focus on those. I'm just going to focus at the places where either a blunder or a mistake either gave away advantage or something like that. Now, the opening was fine up until about here. I probably should have just taken that. I'm not sure. I'm curious because I'm still learning the opening. No, it says I should have just ignored it and played knight to f3. Really? And they wouldn't have taken it? Sorry, I, I, again, trying to learn the opening here. Okay, yeah, they would have taken it. Okay, then, then why does this say that they wouldn't? That's one reason that I actually have to make the move and look at the line, because it says if I play knight to f3, they'll play bishop to g4. But when you switch over here, their best move is clearly to take this pawn. And so I just gave up a pawn, and now I'm supposed to castle, okay? And, and they just have an extra pawn. Okay, well, I don't understand why that's better, and I am not going to spend time on it because I don't have that kind of time. But anyway, I defended the pawn, and they didn't take it. That was inaccurate as well, even though that's a normal move in this opening, and I'm trying to get the knight out. It was inaccurate for me to take back. All right, again, not worried about this. In just a few moves later, after my opponent made this mistake to give me an advantage, I think I was correct to not take the bishop, and I took this pawn, and my opponent took my bishop. Okay, my next move was a blunder. Here I'm up plus two, and what I did, if I'm not mistaken, was take the queen, and the reason that I did that is because I figured I'm going to get the bishop afterward, but that was counted as a blunder and lost all my advantage. Should I have just taken the bishop and left the queens facing each other, or should I have taken the knight first? No, I, I should have taken the bishop. Okay, well, I don't know why. I do know why I think that I shouldn't take the knight first, because if I take the knight first, they get my rook. For the bishop and then my queen's hanging but wait sorry why is that bad oh my okay i get that if i take the bishop and they take my queen i can take back and then i would just be up a pawn and then they would have to run away with their knight right it says that they would put their knight back there after all that okay but why was this different because that's what i did and they took back with the knight and then i took the bishop and i came out a pawn ahead so i i don't understand why that's worse i, I think the reason that this is bad Let's see, if I go up a piece, they take my rook, but then I would take their queen, messing up their right to castle. Oh no, they, they could take back with the knight, but then I would get their bishop. So the queens would be an even exchange, and then I would have gotten a knight and a bishop for the rook. Okay, I mean, this isn't what I played, but what if I had played this? This is bad because they can take here, and it says I should take that, but why, why, why wouldn't I take this? That says it makes it much worse because they can do this, and then I'm going to take the bishop, and then they're going to take the pawn, and they're going to be up a rook for a knight. Wait, did I do the math wrong? Oh, that's frustrating. All right, backing up. Oh, because they just took the bishop, so they're up two points of material when we start this. So if I take this, then I'm up one point of material. But then they take here, putting them up four points. This is an even trade, so they're still up four points. Then I take the bishop, so I'm still down a point. And then when they take the pawn over there, they're up two points. Okay, so that's why I have to take this back first, is because I've already lost a piece, I think. But that doesn't explain why what I played was bad, which is going here, and they take, and then I take the bishop. Because now I'm up a point of material, so why am I behind? Is it because they can take this pawn? I mean, they wouldn't have to. They, they, they could just, you know, get the knight out of danger, but yeah, they can pick up the pawn, but it's a doubled pawn. Oh, and then that pawn's in danger. Is that the problem? I guess, because that's what it says they're going to play next, probably, if I play my best move. So backing up to... Before I played the blunder, if I had taken the bishop first, and then they had played their best move, which is taking my queen, and I had taken back, they're still going to get their knight out of the way of this pawn, and they're threatening that pawn, and... Oh, it says I would defend the pawn by developing the bishop. All right, well, I can't spend any more time on that, because I've got a lot of other stuff to do, but I can't tell what the difference between why one's plus two and the other one's zero or minus something between what I did play and what I didn't play, because it looked like they just got an extra pawn out of the deal, and in the other way, they didn't get the extra pawn. So anyway, we played this, they took, I took the bishop, they took the pawn, I developed the bishop threatening the knight, they took... Oh, they didn't. Okay. Here they should have taken this pawn, which would have threatened my bishop, but they didn't. 
And it says when they did that, then I would take their other knight messing up their pawn structure. Okay, well, that's why I moved it here, so I don't understand why they're ahead. But they did this instead. And I said I wasn't going to focus on the rest of the inaccuracy, so I will not. I will go to the point of my next blunder and or mistake. Okay, that was their mistake. I assume I did okay by it, and then they went back. Let's see, where's my next mistake? It looks like I'm gaining a larger and larger advantage, except when I make an inaccuracy, but then my opponent doesn't play perfectly, and we get to here. And my opponent blundered by... I'm not sure why they went here, and I, and I also don't know where they should have gone. I'm guessing they should have gone there or back here. But anyway, they came back here, which looks like they're aiming at this pawn, but that pawn is, is well defended. And I blundered by playing knight to d6, which is here. Okay, I'm up plus three, almost plus four here, but after the blunder, it says it was plus 1.6. So I gave away more than half of my advantage if I should have played something else. Bringing this pawn forward, I, I have no idea. No, bringing this pawn forward. Or playing rook to f2. Both of those would have kept me over plus three. Or knight to f2 for some reason. I have no idea why. I, I mean, I do know why the rook going here is a good idea, because then their knight has to move. I mean, their bishop has to move. But I assume it would just go there. It, yeah, it says they would go to bishop to b4, and then I would play rook to b2. Oh, and then their bishop's out of room. Okay, I get that. So here, if I had put my rook here... Oh no, it's not their best move to play bishop to b4. Their best move is to go after my knight, in which case I would put it in the place that I put it anyway, and it's safe there. Now they can go all the way over here with their bishop, but I'm still at plus three, even though they managed to save the bishop, because I would play rook to b2, which is here, and they would take it with check, and then I would take back, I assume, and I'm up plus three, even though that was an even exchange. I was up a pawn before that exchange, and I'm still up one pawn. Nope, I have no idea why that was better than what I played. So I played this, which the idea is that A, it goes after this pawn if their rook ever moves. So I figure, or they're, well, actually their knight's guarding it too. But I thought both of those pieces were about to move somewhere, but I guess they could also defend with their king. Another idea was that I would eventually come down here and look for their bishop, but that's a blunder for some reason. But it's only a blunder if my opponent goes here to bishop to b4. They didn't. They came here lining up with my king. Okay, now again, I'm supposed to put a rook or a knight on f2. Again, I don't know what the knight would be doing there. And, and if I put the rook there, now their bishop can get away. So again, I have no idea why that's up plus three. And we went through that whole thing before. I'm not going to do it again. But, but I did play rook to f2 because I didn't know what else to do. And so their bishop had to run away. And it went there, which is fine. And I was supposed to protect the pawn. See, earlier if that happened, I was supposed to chase the bishop some more. Oh, but that's because my knight was back here guarding the pawn. But now I'm supposed to go guard the pawn. But instead, I guarded the pawn, but that was a mistake. Is it because they can push this pawn? Maybe maybe that's what it was. So I had to guard my C pawn with the rook, and that's the only move. I guess I get that, because I guarded the pawn this way, and they can play f5, and they did. And my best move is to go after the bishop while the pawn is still defended, but then the bishop would just go here. It says it wouldn't. The engine thinks if I went after the bishop, they would go ahead and take my knight, which would allow me to take the bishop... And then they would put this knight here, which would allow me to take that pawn. So I would be two pawns ahead at that point. Well, I did that instead because I thought their, you know, the rook was lining up with the king and this keeps it from coming in. And now they're supposed to uh, put their rook over here to aim at my undefended knight. But instead they came after my, you know, that knight that I just put there. So I got it out of danger. All right, where's my next mistake? Okay, here they were supposed to go ahead and take and I would take back and then they would strike start bringing this knight around for some, I don't know, I, I guess it doesn't have many places to go, okay, but their best move was to take my knight, but instead they brought this up for one, and I don't, I don't know why they did that. Is that because it allows a fork? Okay, that's one of my moves, but not my best one. My best move is to put the, the rook on c2, which pins the bishop, but I still would have been doing okay if I had forked. I remember seeing the fork right after I played this, Again, they're supposed to take the knight, but again, they didn't. They came after this knight, which I can easily get away, and I was supposed to come inward, but instead I went there. The reason that I went to a4 was to attack the bishop. That's a blunder, because I should have gone to c4, and I don't know why. That encourages them to take my bishop, I, I mean my knight, I guess, but they didn't want to take my knight, so they, they dropped back one. Problem with that is that it allows rook to c2 or b2, or king to f3. That is also a great move according to this, or rook to d2. So putting my rook anywhere on across there besides where it is, or, or even e2 would be fine. All of those take advantage of that blunder.
All right, well, I don't know why, and this was an inaccuracy, not a mistake, so I'm still ahead. My opponent is supposed to put the bishop back where it was, but instead they came after the knight again, which allowed the fork. Was that my best move? Okay. This time it was my best move to play the fork, and I did, and then my opponent played that. Now, I think the reason they played that was maybe danger levels? Maybe they thought they were going after my rook, and then so if I took their rook, they'd get mine, and then if I took their knight, they'd take mine. I think the problem with this is that I can just take it with the pawn, and then they, and then I still have the fork over there. Is, was it my best move to, yeah, my best move to take with the pawn, but I don't have to, and I'll still be up plus six. I could just move my rook over one, and I would still be up plus six. All right, well, my opponent resigned here, so that saved me the trouble of having to figure out why, the, why this is a great move and would keep me up plus six. I have no idea, so next game. All right, I think before I started that first game, I said it was night before last game, but it was the night before that. This is the night before last game. And in this one, it says I had two blunders and one mistake, so let's just go to those points. My opponent made the first blunder, which was on move six, which is a little earlier than I'm accustomed to, and that was here. The reason that's a blunder is I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to play queen to a5 check because, oh yeah, I was here. I was gonna say because last time I did that, it was counted as a, as a mistake or a blunder, but this time it's different. This time it, I have a pawn here. So their knight can't block and I'm going to win the bishop. Or if their knight blocks, I'll win the knight. Okay. Wait, no. If I win the knight, then my opponent's going to win this pawn. Oh, but but I would still be ahead. Okay, I'm going to guess it was queen to a5 check. Yep. Okay. Minus seven? Oh, it, okay. I have no idea why it said minus seven at the beginning. And I'm still not sure why it's minus four because I'm just going to get a knight out of it or a bishop, right? If I play here, oh, they're going to, they're not even going to block with the knight. They're just going to block with the pawn and I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to take the bishop and I'm at minus four. Even if they play their best move, I actually do understand that. And I realize now that the difference between the last time I played this, I don't know why, but I didn't have a pawn here. The last time I played this, it was counted as a blunder, I think, or maybe just a mistake because it was easy for them to defend the bishop. But I don't know why, because I didn't lose any pieces or anything. But in this case, it was my best move, my only move. I understand that. But instead, I just challenged the bishop, which I guess you know kind of forces it to, or encourages it to take the knight. And I took back. I assume that they can just take this pawn now. Oh, they took with their queen. Okay. Um, my next move was a mistake. I decided to develop the knight because I wanted to come here and, and get that pawn. And I can't develop it to the normal square. Should I have pushed this pawn forward? Is that what it wants? Let's see. No. It wants me to play rook to c8. Oh, because well, that pawn's undefended. Wait, that, but that would fix that, wouldn't it? Why, why isn't d4 listed? Wait, no, that pawn is defended. Sorry. It, it, oh, when I took this knight out, that pawn ceased to be defended. That's why that was... Okay, I think I understand that. Rook to c8 defends this pawn so that the bishop doesn't have to, so I can get the knight out. Okay, so they should have taken the pawn? Yeah. All right, let's turn that off to save my computer. They should have taken it, but they didn't. This allowed me to play... Well, it wasn't counted as a mistake or anything to get this knight out, which is exactly what I had planned. The, the problem, of course, is that that pawn is defended, but I thought maybe I could do something about that. And they jumped in here. I probably should have taken it here. Yeah. Okay, this is my blunder that gave the advantage to my opponent. And my thinking here was, if I take this, they're going to take back with, you know, either one of those pieces... And there's still a lot of pawns left on the board. I would have two bishops that would have a hard time getting through all those pawns. So I decided to trade this for a knight. So they would have one less knight. All right, uh, should I have just taken the bishop? Yes. This was a blunder because it allows... Oh, taking this pawn. Again, I put the knight in the way of the bishop defending that pawn. And since I didn't play rook to c8 earlier, the bishop's the only thing defending my c-pawn. That makes sense. But if I had taken here and they had taken back... Oh, this pawn would still be defended. Okay, I get it. All right. Or it says I could have just played f5 and, and and then we could have both lost our knights, I guess. All right, I do understand this then because it gives up the pawn. They didn't take it though. And I traded off the knights as I had planned and then chased that knight off. So now I have a solid lead again and I think I kept it for the rest of the game. I managed to get uh, both my bishops over here pointed at their king or general direction of their king. And here I'm six points of material ahead. My opponent threw the c-pawn forward. Maybe they wondered if, if I knew en passant. I did know en passant, and I don't know if it was my best move. But after they took there and I threatened here, then they resigned. 
Can they not, can they not just move it out of the way? Oh, no, they can't because it's pinned to the king. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe that's what my opponent realized and why they resigned because they realized here that they were basically going to be forced to trade whether they took or whether they moved it here and let me take or move their king here and let me take. But yeah, I do understand at least most of the mistakes and or blunders in this game. Uh, twice there, I left that C pawn undefended and I should have, I should have noticed that when I moved the, the knight in front of the bishop twice. Okay. I got it. All right, in this one, I came out of the opening ahead, but in the middle game somewhere, I had a, a series, looks like, on the graph. I think you can see it here, a series of bad moves that gave my opponent an advantage, and then I was behind the rest of the game until the last move, which is this big drop-off right here. So I need to focus on this part right here, I think. Uh, let's see, about right there, looks like. I was ahead by minus 2.8, and I think I scrolled away before I saw any uh, moves, so I don't remember what I played here. I think, let's see, what would I play here? Castling? I'm trying to think of what I would have considered here. I think I would have considered castling. I would have considered developing a bishop. I would have considered developing a knight. I think those are the things that I would have considered here. Okay, let's see what I did play. I castled. Okay, well, at least I can guess what I should have, I mean, what I would have done. So I guessed that correct. That was the first thing that I said here. It looks like a safe place to castle. Okay, but that was just an inaccuracy. And then my opponent castled, and I'm still ahead, but my next move was a mistake. I developed the knight. I probably should have developed to c6. I'm guessing. I did, I did not see what I should have played. It's probably visible to you, but I'm guessing the reason that I did this is because they're aiming here with two pieces, which is pretty much guaranteed to break open the pawn structure around my king, so I thought it needed more defense. Does Or should I have just moved the knight away? Okay, maybe that was it. No, I should have let them break open the structure there. Wow. I should have played bishop to e6. It's the only move that maintains my advantage. Okay, why won't they take here then? They will take here. Wait. Yep. That's their best move. Okay, now what do I do? I break... What? Okay, never mind. That wasn't a mistake by my level of play. I know that in Grandmaster plays, it's fine to just open up your king after you've castled, but at my level of play, I'll get checkmated in about six moves because it happens all the time. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't do some move that doesn't defend the knight because I knew exactly that they would do this and I would be forced to take here. So I can't count that as a mistake, but it did take away all of my advantage. My opponent lined up at this pawn, which is defended, but won't be defended after they take here. What did I do is the question. I don't know what I did here. I might have decided that the pawn was lost, and I played that. Yep, I decided that, oh, the problem with that is the rook. Okay, so I'm guessing I should have moved the rook over first. Let me see. No, I should have put this knight back, or moved this rook over, or played a5. But b5 is pretty good too, so I'm not sure why it's counted as a mistake. Wait, go back. It says b5 is 0 0.1, but if I play it, it's 0 0.89. All right, well, that stockfish that figured that out needs to tell the stockfish here that says it's plus 0 0.1. I'm guessing that the two stockfishes, you know, that stockfish doesn't communicate with itself or something. Okay, so it's, it's 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 if I play that. That's why it was counted as a mistake. But stockfish here would have played it and thought that would have been even, which is what I did. Well, the problem is that they can take this pawn, and they did. Now, what I didn't see was this discovery, I think is what I didn't see. I'm supposed to move the rook out of the way now, because I left this on and saw. But instead, I took the knight, which allows them to take back, and now I should move the rook, right? Yes, now I should... Oh, but it's plus four whether I move the rook or not, even though I'm ahead on material. I thought this was the mistake because I didn't see that they were attacking my rook. But it wasn't a mistake. It was one of my best moves. Okay. What if I had seen that they were challenging my rook and I had moved it to here? They're still at plus four, even if I save the rook. Okay, well, I don't understand that either. I played that and let them have the rook, and I thought, oh no, I've lost my rook, and I knew I was behind. I'm behind three points of material now. So we played on uh, for some time. I was able to go get their rook, and they escaped with their bishop, and now they're only up one point of material, but somehow all still up plus three. I don't know how. And they took there, which I thought was the best place to take. That was a mistake because I should have what? I should have taken their rook, even though I'm down a piece. It says I should have taken their rook, and they would have taken back, and then I would have moved my queen up one, and then they would have gone over there. Okay, well, I did that, and they went over there to f2, which looks like they're trying to uh, maybe get in here and come in this way. I'm not sure exactly what their idea was. And I have no idea what my idea was, but but I did move mine up one because I thought they were coming after this pawn, which may have been the case. I don't know. 
They moved that rook over to challenge my rook again. Again, I should have taken it, but again, I didn't. Oh no, I did. What? Why did I do that? Wait, it was my best move and I did it? Oh, I think, okay, I think it's because I thought I could even up the material here by taking this pawn, but I'm still down a piece, which is hard. Okay, so I'm surprised that was my best move, but it is running my computer pretty hard. Okay, so I did take it. And that allowed me to take this pawn, which wasn't good. All right, I should have just let them stay a pawn ahead. All right, um, they're still at plus three, even though we're now even on material. I thought this uh, majority over here might come in handy, especially if I could get this pawn up here. But my opponent played pretty well, I thought, not allowing me. I mean, here they're obviously lining up for checkmate, so I had to defend against that. Then they can check here, and I have to run away. There's a long section here where nobody makes any mistakes, so let's just click through that. Um, they did pick off, you know, one of my extra pawns, so they're still a pawn ahead. I'm trying to protect both of my pawns while also coming toward theirs. I thought it was pretty obvious they were coming around trying to check me again, and I'm trying to sneak this pawn past. That was inaccurate. Now it's only plus 1.9. I don't know what my best move was. I was starting to notice that I had a little bit of a time advantage. I thought my opponent might get low on time and make a mistake. So that's a blunder, apparently. Wow, I, bl I had a blunder here. Why is it a blunder? I don't know. Okay. That's a mistake, because I assume because it gives up that pawn back there, but you nope. Know, oh, they have mate and four now. Okay. What should I have done here? I should have played g5. Or king to g8. Or queen to d3. Or c3. Or taking the bishop for the queen would have been better than what I played. I thought they gave up the pawn and I was going to be fine. But, but then my opponent gave up the bishop. So I took it and then they resigned. In fairness to me, in this game, my opponent was rated more than 100 points higher than me, which is usually outside the, the range that I set. And in fact, it was outside the range that I set, but, but I didn't want to abort the game when I saw that's the pairing that I got. I'm a little frustrated at the parts that I didn't understand, and obviously I'm always frustrated that I don't have more time to pay attention to each one of those. That series of blunders that put me behind, I, I'm not sure that I grasped that, but I did understand the blunders in the second game that I looked at, so I'm happy about that. I, and I can't beat myself up about the ones that I didn't understand. I might make them again because I still don't understand the, the idea behind the mistake. And as you saw, I thought it was a mistake when I gave up the rook, but that turned out to just be, to be just fine. So I don't, I don't understand that sequence at all. But it means I shouldn't feel bad about playing them if I still don't understand them even after seeing what I should have played without, a, you know, without a lot more time. And of course, in the game, I didn't have that much time, you know, so thank you for spending your time here and I'll see you next time.